Hello everybody, my name is Nyan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for you and inspire yourself for engineers. And today we are talking about what I would do, me, if I needed to get a job within the next one month. Yeah, one month. And when I say a job, I really mean a developer role, a software engineering job when I really don't have that much background experience, either because I self-taught, I went to a boot camp, any reason at all, I don't have much experience and I needed a job yesterday. Right now, today, 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 I would, this is day one out of 30, I would update my resume. The topic of resumes can be so difficult for people because as mentioned, I don't have previous in this situation. I don't have previous experience in this role. And so how in the world do I set up my resume in a way that attracts interviews and recruiters see and say, actually, yeah, this looks like this could be a person for our team. Let's bring them in, let's talk to them, and eventually let's give them a job. The thing you want to focus on with your resume is expressing all you have learned throughout your transition to becoming a software engineer and how you would be a value add. If you'd like to better visualize really what I'm talking about, check out the link in my description box. I have a free resume template up for you to use to, yeah, create your resume because again, I it seems like you don't have much time and you have no time to waste, so you can check that out in the description box below. Next thing we would do is focus on optimizing our online presence. And this is more job related online platforms. So things like GitHub and LinkedIn. We need to optimize our GitHub because if you need a job within the next 30 days, you likely don't have the time to create a whole portfolio site, but you can house your portfolio projects on GitHub. If you structure it a certain way. If you'd like to see how that's all done and everything, like a really good detailed view of that, check out the video above. I go into the way I structured my own GitHub. I just needed something to get the job done. So I think this, if you're like me, you just wanna get the job done, it'll do what you're looking for. But overall, you want your GitHub to clearly state your different projects. And so name your repos. I talked about my project Mints. Mints front end, then have a Mints web app back end. And in your readmes, talk about the project, talk about the technologies used, talk about the idea behind your project and why, why you decided to develop it, create it, talk about the key features of your web app and whatnot. Really the same exact thing that is on your resume, do it again on GitHub in a way that is easy to digest because that can very, very easily be where you host your port portfolio. And it's where I hosted mine. I, I don't know, creating a whole portfolio site for my projects when GitHub was right here, that seemed ridiculous to me, so I didn't do that. So do that and then with your LinkedIn, optimize your LinkedIn in a way that if a person, if a recruiter, if a manager went to your LinkedIn, they would get that same everything now that I'm even talking about it a lot of these things are repetitive in that you just want to show what type of professional you are what you say on res on your resume you'll say again on your github which you'll say again on your LinkedIn however something very specific to please 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 do on your LinkedIn is right where it says uh, your name and then underneath it usually says the person's occupation put software engineer Put software engineer, I beg of you. I went to a coding bootcamp and one of the things my instructor said to me was, no one wants to hire an aspiring software engineer. Do you want to hire an aspiring doctor? Do you want to hire an aspiring wealth manager? No, you need to hire a software engineer, somebody who already claims it. and. Of course, some careers you can't do this. You aren't a doctor unless you have the actual degrees and whatnot. But software engineering is a career that if you can build, you are a software engineer. You may be unemployed, you may be unemployed, but you are still a software engineer. So put the words software engineer right in your header, right in your, um, like where it says occupation and whatnot. And now in your LinkedIn settings, put your profile as open to work. Please, 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 please do this because recruiters actually use this when they're trying to find people to fill their roles. And so by now, you positioning yourself as a software engineer who is looking for a job, it makes it so much easier for these companies to find you. 
So now that you've set up your platforms and set up the different, yeah, the different spaces you operate in as a software engineer, it is time to start applying. Ideally, this is day like three. It's time to start applying. And so you are looking up, okay, software engineering roles in Miami. You're looking up those roles and you're scrolling through and okay, you're finding some that you like. I personally, I used LinkedIn and Google when looking for roles and I I think it's just a preference thing and whatnot. I know people use Indeed and whatnot. I focus less on that. The platform doesn't necessarily matter as much as long as they're reputable. But yes, you're trying to see these jobs come up and you're like, okay, I want that one, 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 I want that one. That's great. Instead of just going in and applying right away, save the job. Ideally, you have a job application tracker. If you don't want to do all the work of setting it up again, because you don't have that much time, check the link in my description box because I actually have a template for a job application tracker that I use and that you can use as well. If you make your own copy, you can fill it out all on your own. But yes, put these jobs all in your job application tracker and then go to LinkedIn. And I know people are going to like, clock out when I say this because it's so terrifying but yo we need a job so like we we gotta we gotta do some things that make us uncomfortable go to LinkedIn and search let's say the you found a job for I don't even know Strava that's a fun app right Strava you go to LinkedIn and you search software engineer Strava and see who pops up first round see if there's any connections or almost connections that fit you know software engineer as Strava. likely there will not be that was not the case for me but now look through the profiles and see who you think you can kind of easily strike a conversation with so what does this mean look for people that have commonalities with you that you seem similar to whether because of their identity or because of the previous work they did or the things the organizations are part of and whatnot you can kind of easily see this through the people's profiles me personally because there aren't many black women in software engineering whenever I saw a black woman for the company I was looking up I would immediately reach out to them and so I would click connect and right when you click connect you have an option to add a message I would add a message and I say like something like hi my name is Naya I'm very interested in the software developer role open at Strava um, being that there's not many black women in this space I would really love a 15 minute chat with you about your experience within this company or within this role at this company and yeah leave it at that usually you i think you are only allowed like 300 characters not even words but characters so the message has to be pretty short but yeah then click send wait like a day or two and hope that they reach back out to you if they do first message say i'm i'm free these days for a 15 minute phone call please let me know which days work for you it is so much more valuable to get these people on the phone because it creates that deeper connection even if it's just 15 minutes and there's a saying in just LinkedIn and just job hunting I guess in general which is ask for a job and get advice ask for advice and get a job and that's what we're trying to do here we are trying to ask all these people for advice what's your experience working in this company do you have any advice for me as I go through the application process um, what things do you think I should know as a person who's worked here X amount of years so to keep 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 messaging people if two days go by and you haven't heard back from the people you reached out to then go ahead and apply for the job but hope that they'll reach out to you later and you can get a conversation going and the reason I say wait before applying like wait to hear back from them again no more than one or two days don't you know risk your career for waiting on these people but the reason I say wait is because by you then saying like you to talk for you know the 15 minutes then the next day or the next hour messaging them again and thanking them for their time and being like i have applied that lets them know like oh okay if i look up right now the applications that came through i'll likely find this person and let you can then let them do what they want with that information and with your application really the goal being that they move it forward to the hiring manager talk good on you and you get an interview but yeah again do not wait any longer than one 
one to two days, like one and a half days. You should be applying to jobs every single day. Another thing you should be doing every single day is practicing on lead code. Practice data structures and algorithms on lead code because once you get through the interview process and once you, when you're going through the interview process, you will likely come a time, there will likely come a time where you need to complete a coding challenge or pair program or anything like that. So it's very, very important that you get your practice in. I like lead code. The reason I like lead code so much is because I feel like you get the most for not spending anything. There are, there are options to spend money and get memberships with lead code and you get more out of it. However, for just a free plan, you get honestly everything you need and so I really love Lee code for that especially because of just it's easy to use and I like their design just sleek clean user-friendly design and so practice on Lee code every single day definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed because later on I'm going to do a video on how specifically I used Lee code in order to get me ready for these tech interviews but yes practice 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 at least at least two problems a day please 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 do that so those are the things you should do daily now on a semi-weekly basis you should be posting on LinkedIn it's not enough that you have a picture up and you set yourself as software engineer and open to work you need to be an active participant in the community and what that may look like is posting about the projects you've created posting like walkthrough videos of the projects you created write articles coding articles post them to medium nothing it doesn't have to be anything crazy just top five things I learned about JavaScript uh, with so-and-so course just talk about kind of like be a content creator for that time that you're looking for a job and repost it on LinkedIn. Be an active participant. You don't know which keywords and which post that is going to catch the right person's eye and get you to that next level. Again, I know it's annoying. People hate this part, but look, it, in this economy, no, we got to do what we need to do to get the job. Another hard thing people don't like to do, network. I know, I know about half of you just dropped off the second I said that word, that, that bad word. However, because I also am an introvert, so I have found ways to do so without leaving my house. For virtual networking, I recommend going to Facebook and searching for software developer groups. And so searching, like if you're a woman, say woman software engineer or women in tech. And if you're a person in a minority group saying like people of color in tech or Hispanics in tech, black people in tech, black software engineers x y and z get part of those groups because those people a lot of them are people with jobs looking to pay it forward and you want to yeah network and get people to know you and talk to people get virtual coffee chats and when it comes time for a new job to be filled they can very easily point to you because you have already made yourself known, done your rounds, and it's clear that you could be the right person for the job. I'm gonna add one of the groups I'm in. It's phenomenal. It's run by this man named Esco, and it is phenomenal. It's like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Everyone is so active, so helpful. People give each other referrals, uh, like even without knowing each other. Um, Cause yeah, it's just, we want, we want to help and we want to bring people up. So I'll add the link in my description box below. And just like what you're, what I said to do on LinkedIn, like be active, be very active on these Facebook pages or Slack pages or whatever page you found. Like people's stuff, comment on people's stuff, ask questions yourself. You really want to be like, hey, here I am and I'm not playing around and then finally do not think that following up on your applications won't do anything things fall through the crack and by following up it not only assures you of this company's decisions but it also makes it clear to them that hey this person really wants this job and so really really there's just no real downside of reaching back out following up and saying like hey what happened with my application like i would i would like to know but yeah there we go everybody everything i would do if i needed a job in one month let me know what questions you have so look out for those follow-up videos where i do go more even just granular on everything but i hope this was helpful let me know if it was and i'll talk to you later bye